Hello and welcome to the Stellaris Narrative, a series taking place in Paradox Interactive's critically acclaimed 2016 strategy game. This very first part begins the tale of the Commonwealth of Man, at the very dawn of the 23rd century, with the advent of warp technology. But before we take to the stars, there are a few tasks left at home that we have to take care of. Our physicist has decided to go after gravity sensors in the hopes that they will allow us to faster survey the systems surrounding our own. Our society specialist has decided to go after New World Protocol, which will allow us to build colony ships in the hopes that once we have discovered a suitable world, we can take over it. And our engineer has went after nanomechanics in the hopes that they will amplify the engineering output of our glorious commonwealth. Now that we have gone over the scientific side of the equation, let us go back to surveying the system. On Mars, the Jaeger discovered the remains of an ancient civilization that went by the name of the Cybrex. The first evidence that humans are not alone in the universe. While the race seems to have been extinguished some 600,000 years past, that nonetheless eases the minds of the humans who have always found that they may be alone in the galaxy. As an added benefit, a further anomaly is discovered. However, we don't currently have the technical expertise to unlock the mysteries hidden within these ruins. As is none too difficult to imagine, this leaves the human commonwealth abuzz with the news of the discoveries on Mars. It was soon after that the Jaeger at last tested the long sought after warp technology, the destination Bernard Star. As the Jaeger warped towards the as of yet unexplored star system, Earth's long distance sensors picked up on unknown signals by even more mysterious alien vessels. The news quickly got out. A second science ship was commissioned to investigate. Meanwhile, Earth's population grew ever larger, and so alterations in the planet's infrastructure were ordered. After disappointing failures in Bernard's star, the Sirius system was a refreshing source of information and resources. The Jaeger team leader discovered an anomaly. After investigating, an automated shipyard of unknown origins was reactivated in order to create several advanced pieces of spacecraft. Another discovery of importance later down the line happened in Sirius 3, a world with near-perfect habitability, sadly plagued by dangerous wildlife and thick jungles, currently too difficult to remove. While such thoughts occupied the leaders of humanity, the Jaeger finished its work on the shipyard producing three exotic advanced vessels with greater military capability than the Commonwealth's Admiralty. The following months were filled with a great degree of curiosities. In the Dabe system, a primitive alien civilization, still in its Iron Age, was discovered. Later, the Jaeger was sent back to the Sol system in order to finish the Martian anomaly, discovered a few years earlier. The research provided illuminating in terms of planetary habitability. Further research still cost quite a lot of energy for the Commonwealth, but it was pursued nonetheless. After the research on gravity sensors ran its course, the need for faster research in the future pulled the scientific directors and community of the Commonwealth towards the artificial intelligence research. Another Cybrex artifact was discovered, a destroyed refinery. The energy traces pointed the investigators aboard the research ship to the usage of antimatter weaponry from ages ago. 
Meanwhile, the Commonwealth Engineering Corps, forced by lobbyist interests, went into researching geothermal fracking. After a number of Green Party members protested the idea, they were put on a ship and fired into the sun. President Paul Mayo's approval ratings nearly doubled. Funny how that works. <laughs> As the last Green Party members of Earth screamed, travelling towards the, the fiery doom that awaited them, the Jäger discovered an abandoned cargo pot and managed to extract quite a few energy credits from it. A few months later, as a result of a number of discoveries, the Commonwealth put an important goal in front of humanity – to catalogue the planet types and strengthen efforts on habitable world surveys. Little did humans know, the galaxy would get very exciting very soon. Six years, ten months, four days. This is when humanity makes first contact with an alien species. And what do they look like? <sighs> Six-eyed mushrooms called the Artesian Troop. Ah yes, space artists. Thank you very much, we've got plenty of those already. Far more interesting is the Infinity Equation, a gigantic construction, a perfect sphere, completely beyond anything the Commonwealth technology is capable of understanding. What secrets does it hold within? No one knows. At the end of the day, scientists kick back and put on some Dragon Ball Z, in the hopes that it could shine a new light on the mysterious Leviathan. As you might have guessed, that did not work and scientific research was lost for about 800 days. The time it took to watch all of Dragon Ball Z from beginning to end. <laughs>